yeah so welcome back guys this is madhav pvl and uh, uh, now we are going to discuss about the a star search algorithm so a star search algorithm is something uh, which is another form uh, another type of informed search algorithm so now we need to just know some of the basic terms so after knowing this basic terms we will just solve an example then we will just get some clarity we need to just remember this three terms so f of n so f of n is nothing but cost to get from node to goal state so that is a f of n so g of n is nothing but it is the path cost from the start node to the node n so start node to the node n so we will just discuss it now but remember these words so start node to the node n and then h of n is nothing but the estimation cost from n to the goal in this total uh, with the help of this total we are going to just use this a star algorithm and we are just going to find out the things uh, now first uh, now let me just copy this thing and we will just paste it in the paint sorry so here we can just see so if you just consider this uh, example so this is a start and this is a goal state so now uh, if we just try to write this thing here so f of here n is nothing but the s so the state which we are just going to start with so now we are going to write s so g of n g of n is nothing but the cost from the start node to the node n so start node to the node n so node n in the sense here node n in the sense there are uh, two nodes for this s right so there are the two nodes are b and c so for s there are two nodes so for s there are two nodes so we need to just consider this thing so what are those two nodes so they are b and c so we need to just find uh, the estimation cost uh, like nothing but the cost to get from node to goal so here there are uh, two goals for this initial state so we need to just find the f of s for both b and c so we will just do one thing so now we are going to write uh, g of n to uh, the distance to travel from uh, s to s so to start from so here we can just uh, calculate this g of n so g of n uh, the the estimation cost which we can just consider for traveling from a uh, start state to start again from s to s what is the cost which which is being taken as this thing so now from traveling from s to s it requires zero cost so we are going to write zero and then h of n is nothing but the estimation cost from n to the goal that is uh, 14 so the heuristic value is nothing but the h of n so we will just going to write this 14 so f of s is 14 now we are just going to write f of b so we if we just go if you are going to write f of b so for for f of b we are going to uh, write it from the start node to the node n so start node to the node n here the start node is uh, 14 right so from the start node to the node n first we need to write the length so here the length is 4 so here the length is 4 and we need to just mention it here clearly so 4 plus and the value of the b that is 12 now 16 and we need to write f of c f of c if we just write it from the start to the f of c then we need to just write the path value that is 3 and we need to just write the value of the c that is 11 so the path value is this and the value of the c is this and if we just write it here we will get the value here 14 so here f of c is low we can just see it here so the f of c is low so now uh, we can just consider this thing so as f of c is low 
uh, we can just consider this path. So the node will travel from H to C first. So from H to C, if it is traveled, then it is going to convert like this. So F of uh, from C. So here for C, there are two nodes again. So for C, there are two nodes again. So what are those two nodes? So the two nodes are E and D. So for C, we are having E and D. So we need to just consider uh, which we need to just take to reach the goal state. So this whole thing will be done with the help of this heuristic value. The heuristic value will be given in the question itself. So now uh, we are going to write like f of uh, as we had just took this c path. So now it will just become like this after one iteration. So iteration 2 is f of sc. f of sc so f of sc of one second so now we need to just consider uh, we need to just calculate the value for both e and d so f of sce so we will just calculate uh, for sce so if we just calculate for sce for sce until here the sc value is nothing but this 14 so we uh, do not consider that thing. So we will just start it from here. SC to E. So the value of that path is 10. And the heuristic value is 4. So we will just write like this. 10 plus 4. That gives 14. And now we are just going to write F of SCD. For that we are just going to write 7 plus 6. 7, uh, 6, 2 is 12 plus 1, 13. As uh, we can just see here, D value. So, uh, this is a path value, path length. And this is a heuristic value. So, 13. As this is low, we are just going to consider this thing. So, 13 is low. So, now the after this iteration, so it will just uh, turn like this iteration 3 f of s c d so f of s c d so from f of s d s c d again the d is having for d it is having only it is having one node for d it is having only one node so we will just write like this f of s e d e if you write like this then the value is 2 plus 4 that is 6 so the so we can't just take this 6 is the only thing which we can just consider and then from finally we are just getting to the final path that is s c d e g as E is only having uh, one node, so finally we are getting into the G. That is phi plus the heuristic value of G. Uh, let us just consider some 10, 15. So uh, if we just uh, see here, the final cost uh, is 15. So we need to just uh, add all this thing. So how to add? So we will just see. We need to add this one and we need to add this one and we need to add this one and we need to add this one like uh, if you just see the final cost is 14 plus 13 plus 6 plus 15 so this is the final cost for for traveling uh, the whole thing so reaching the goal state so this is the final cost after using this aster algorithm so after using the aster algorithm so this is the final cost which we are going to get 
so uh, works well with an informed search problems with fewer steps to reach a goal so um, algorithm so start with open contains the initial node value as zero close it also set the li uh, list to the zero so close it in the sense uh, things which were things uh, which we are moving out so if we consider this low we are going to just consider that low in that particular closed state until a goal node is found repeat the following process no nodes in open return failure so pick a node on open with low of f of n so if the heuristic value is uh, low then we need to just put that in that particular open uh, list and then name it as a best node so here the least cost will be uh, put in that particular best list and then uh, it will be a uh, best list and we, we will just name it as a best list which is having a low heuristic value so remove it from the open place it in close it check whether the node is the goal state or not so it need to check whether the node is in a goal state or not so if it is in a goal state so it can just exit and report the value else increment uh, the best node for its successes so we had just uh, discussed this problem right so that's the thing about uh, a star algorithm so the uh, the uh, next one will be uh, given in the next video so thank you for watching please subscribe to works of college thank you